My name is Louise Reynolds and I'm an artist from Hamilton in Scotland. The title of the show is Once Bitten, Twice Shy, which I think is a phrase that sums up the current zeitgeist of the UK. It shares a title with this work behind me, which I made in reference to lots of stories that I was seeing in the news about people becoming increasingly lonely. So I see the tree in the work as the person with all these imagined threats or foes outside of their like neural bubble. I also love the materiality of the wood grain showing through my drawings and I feel that the watercolour pencils especially are really tactile and they pick up the grain. By habitually reading the news, um, I'll take phrases and words or things that jump out to me and by extracting those from the actual people involved or the different contexts, I see that that is like removing them from time. I recently came back from a residency in Florence. I was there for two months and I did a lot of research into medieval painting, especially how they express hierarchies. The central figure is to me like the most important person in the image and they're seen above the like the mortals, which is kind of how the, these religious paintings I was looking at express the hierarchies. Safe Passage was made after I saw all these Etruscan Hellenistic urns when I was in Florence. Um, so they kind of have like a figure lying down, which is the deceased person on the lid. And then underneath that is like a crowd dancing or fighting. In the past, it was used so much for like well wishes for the afterlife. But now when you think of safe passage, it has a totally different meaning and a much less sympathetic one to do with migration. Magical realism to me, is a vehicle for me to make comments about what I feel as the dystopia that we are experiencing just now. And it's not so much that I use my works to like seek out a utopia because they still are dystopic in a lot of ways. It's more that I, I think that by presenting a different universe or plane or reality can make you think more about your own and that's kind of what magical realism does for me in my practice.